Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC, offers more value than any other good full-service real estate brokerage firm when it comes to the sale of your home. We offer at least 27 things that contribute to your home selling in the least amount of time at the highest price. To receive our free home selling pamphlet, email us at info at brooksanddavis.com or call 713-665-8329. We also assist people who want to purchase homes or who are interested in getting their real estate license. Visit us at www.brooksanddavis.com. Are you an inspiring entrepreneur? Or maybe you're an entrepreneur looking to take your business to the next level. My name is Larry W. Brooks, and I am the author of Empowering Quotes for the Entrepreneur in You and the Entrepreneur Code. In these two books, I guarantee you there's success secrets that will take your business to the next level. I personally invite you to visit LarryWBrooks.com. Go under the books link and purchase your signed personal copy from myself. You have a great day and have an awesome 2020. Pure Hustle is not only a clothing brand, but it is a movement. I personally invite you to visit shoppurehustle.com. How do you survive? Happy Thursday. Welcome to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. I'm your host, Rick Davis. If you don't follow me on social media, I urge you to do so at Prime Real Estate Rick. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Prime Real Estate Rick. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in commercial or residential real estate anywhere in the great state of Texas, but especially here in our lovely city of Houston, please visit our website at brooksanddavis.com. As always, I'm joined by my co-host, Texas real estate broker, multi-time author, serial entrepreneur, known the world over as the Texas real estate king, holding it down here on the Shout ones out. and twos with me as always, ones man. Twos, I want to introduce to the Prime Real Estate Network audience, my co-host, Mr. Larry W. Brooks. What's going on, my brother? Hey. Oh, I like that, man. <laughs> I like that. Hey, man, I'm good, man. I'm good to be back in the building. Had an opportunity to step away from the country for a little while, take a deep breath down in Tulum and it's been good Rick it can't say I, 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 I saw your I saw your uh your beach workout yeah I, I, I saw you, <laughs> you know roughing it man? I saw you roughing I see you your friend sweat going I see your friend Flintstone no, workout see, going out to, there I had man. to show him that it really took place out there man for, but, but for everybody who doesn't know exactly what me and Larry is talking about Larry describe that the, the workout facility they have for you on the resort down so in Mexico so for, for those of you that are aware of I, I know some of the millennials may not know who Fred Flintstone is but Google him Google <laughs> Fred and it was like a caveman type style of workout equipment so it all had the exact weight that you would need but it was huge equipment so it was it was good but you know what i appreciate more is the food so here's what i take away here's one of the things that that i take away whenever i visit another place that's outside of the country the ability to be able to communicate what it is that you want right so when we think of bacon and eggs we think bacon on the side eggs on the side well when you mention that to someone that y'all don't speak the same dialogue they cook it together so I mm. got bacon and eggs cooked together. I thought that was unique. So when I think of omelet, guess what? When we eat our omelets, we think, when I tell you what I want, you put it all inside the omelet, you roll it up, you bring it to me. Well, when you're in a third world country and you get an omelet, you get everything on the side. We except the egg is rolled up. I was like, how you don't Hold put on, it what? in? I so know. like the bell pepper bacon all that's gonna be on the side it was on the side but i the could eggs. not i was just like I, I said an omelet and the only thing they put in the omelet what was on the menu which was like the the greens that i wanted inside of it but that was it and i was like okay that was different so now right. after that every time i understood i communicated a little better and talked them all the way through the process the so. power of communication oh, power of communication you, you had your first mexican omelet I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I think I think it was a dysfunctional omelet. Yeah, it didn't work the way I've had, I needed. I've had omelets in Mexico and they do it the right way. I think. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah I was so looking at that omelet like, like uh, you know, now this ain't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, so, this ain't it. But it was good, man. It was a good. I'm trip. glad you made it back from your vacation, man. I know um, we put a lot into not only the podcast but our real estate professional brands, the company, and you got to invest some time in your own mental health wellness yeah. having some time to decompress so it's good to have you back with us man flight was good uh, everything was smooth i'm glad you didn't drink the water so everything <laughs> from that standpoint is I good did. I mean, but while you were gone that's though, no longer a myth oh wait 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 that's wait, only wait, a myth wait, wait, wait. don't touch him <laughs> <laughs> 
mascot. Well, no, okay. it's funny though. Now nah, it's funny. Literally, lives. their wa- their bottle. I mean, not bottle. Yeah, their bottle water caught. So like every, <laughs> right. you know, they got on. They got they caught a hold of it. It was like, look, we ain't getting away free water. Like right, everybody drinks bottle and it caught. So that well, it is. Well, while you were gone, man, you know, some of us were still out here in the belly of the beast getting it going. No doubt. I, I want to give a big, huge shout out to everyone who's had an opportunity to visit our newest listing. If you haven't had a chance, if you're a realtor, if you're a buyer, if you are a real estate professional that's going to be out this weekend tour, and I want to talk about our newest listing. It is at 3215 Chino Valley Court in Missouri City, Texas. I want to invite everyone to stop by this property. This is a beautiful home, four bedrooms, two stories, countless custom features that you would absolutely die for if you knew that they were going to be in this property. So I want to invite everybody out. But I want to get to today's show, Mr. Brooks. Hey, hey. You may have outdone yourself this time, man. Look here, man. I know I did, man. I got it's it's crazy how the universe aligns things, right? So right. when I reached out to these two guests, I had no idea that they were gonna both accept the oppo- accept to be on the show at the same time, right? right? Not only that, them already knowing each other. Now I know that the thing about it is the who's who in real estate. The ones that are doing business and doing business the right the right way that have been in this business longevity are going to know each other, right? Mm-hmm. We just move in the same circles. That's just what it is. So to have both of them on today, uh, on today, knowing that they even I didn't even know this myself that they had that they actually knew each other prior to um, they had actually done business together. So uh, with that being said, man, I'm just excited to have two of my friends, my right. friends on the show today. I want to introduce first. She is not only a professional realtor. She's also a professional real estate investment investor, and she's the CEO of Love Creative Investments. I want to introduce to the Prime Real Estate Network audience not only Mr. Larry Brooks's close friend, mm-hmm. yep. but also one of the most successful real estate investors in the city, Ms. Love Reed. How you doing? I'm well. Thank you so much. Thank you for that introduction. Oh, no. Thank you so much for ty- <laughs> um, carving some time out of your schedule to sit in with us, but uh, I want to introduce our second guest as well because... You two professionals work so well tying the show together today, right? He's so looking I'm sexy great. in his shirt over there, too. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Well, Come let me get straight us. to it, man. Come on. Hey, look. I'm, I'm with sorry, all this extra build up, let me get to it. Let me get to it. I got distracted. <laughs> Our second guest is not only the president and the founder of A4 Fine Properties, but he is also a professional realtor and a very successful real estate investor in the city of Houston himself. Okay. So I would like to introduce to the Prime Real Estate Network audience, Mr. Anthony Ford. How y'all doing? Thank you, man. I appreciate y'all having me. No doubt, Mr. Ford. I forgot, to, I forgot. You know what? We're supposed to do a book hop. I forgot to bring my book so we can exchange. We don't worry. Do I got mine one. for you. I got you. <laughs> Somebody go to my house and get my book. <laughs> no, no, don't do that yet. After show. <laughs> no, <laughs> Joe. Don't leave. Joe on now. Joe, go to <laughs> No, but see, this is, this, is, this is one of the things, and I want to make sure um, we get straight to it because I don't have as much time with you both as I would like. This show is something that I'm very proud to be able to present today because we have four licensed real estate professionals, myself, Mr. Brooks, and both of you all. But one of the things that I get a lot as a um, realtor is how can I, how can other realtors best invest their own monies to build their nest egg for their families and create generational wealth? And the reason why I'm so proud to have both of you all on the show today is because both of you all have approached the real estate investment perspective from different angles, but they are both angles that any real estate professional can take advantage of, regardless of where they stay, how long they've been in the business or not. So I want to start with you, Ms. Reed. Could you talk a little bit about your company and what it is from an investment standpoint that you focus on? Yes. So um, Love Creative Investment is right now... um, we do new construction, but we also, um, before the new construction, of course, I did the Airbnb. Um, I'm currently on my second one, um, owning my second one, had that one up and running, it's been booked for two months. I'm um, doing really well, both of them. Mm. And um, how I got started, well, I was going to say, um, how I got started kind of in that, well, kind of got into that part of it was I always wanted rental property, um, but you know, I always thought you had to buy 
the property first and mm. then you know turn it into a, a airbnb mm-hmm. um but then studying going on youtube and um, looking at some other people around me um, i found out different so mm. i went into the corporate leasing uh, where you don't have to own, own the unit you can go into an apartment complex and um, it has to be a corporate unit you can't sublet you know do it under your own name um, but i found out a lot of information on how to put my company uh, name on the lease and be able to do the short short term rental that way. Wow, that's that was a real life strategy right there. <coughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank I was you. thinking the same yeah. thing. Believe yeah. Yeah. No, and the wow. reason why um, that's such a moving testimonial is because when you're in the real estate industry, I'm sure we all get bombarded with emails from investors, wholesalers, and you get so many that some go to your spam box, some don't even make it to you. So I want to ask you this, Mr. Ford. When you are getting bombarded with those emails from wholesalers and investors, for other realtors that may be getting all of those same emails and have no idea what to do with them, even though they may want to get involved from an investment standpoint, what advice would you give them? And how did you start and starting to flip as well from a realtor perspective? Well, I mean, when people, when wholesalers inbox me, I mean, the main thing is for you to know yourself and know your business. Um, and so that's the first and foremost thing. Mm-hmm. Um, because not all properties are created equal. Exactly. I mean, it's just like in a personal, you're not in a personal aspect, you're not gonna respond to every DM you get, right? That's right. So at the end of the day, you have to have some type of filtration system. Uh, and so when a wholesaler approached me, the first thing is, you know, well, what percentage of the ARV are you offering this property to me? And what that means is after repair value. So mm-hmm. ARV, after repair value, uh, for instance, if a house is worth 200000 and you're trying to sell it to me, for whatever it is, you can sell it to me for fifty thousand, one hundred and fifty thousand, whatever you want to sell it to me for. But the other underlying question that I have to ask is how many, how much repairs it need. Mm-hmm. So I put those two numbers together, and then give me your percentage. So let's go back. So if I say if a wholesaler's in my inbox, hey, I got a property, or I get properties, okay, what your numbers look like? What is your percentages? So if a house is two hundred thousand, and they, they tell me it needs fifty thousand dollars worth of work, and they're trying to sell it to me for a hundred thousand, that's not a good deal for me. Because I'm all in at 150 thousand already before I even bought the house, yep. and it's only worth 200. But if they came to me and said, "Okay, it's 50 thousand dollars worth of work that need to be done to this property, and I'm going to sell it to you for 70 thousand dollars," then now we can talk a little bit, um, because that percentage of the ARV is acceptable to me. So that's the first thing, you know, I ask them, and if they're not talking right, then I just, you know, push them to the side. I, mm-hmm. I I'm not, I'm not going to deal with you. Yeah. So when it, when it comes to your business model nowadays, like, what do you mainly focus on now? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you focus on now when it comes to your business nowadays? So I, I really, I deal in the private sector. Okay. Um, I take on about four or five clients a year. Uh, that's about it. Um, and what I do is I flip properties for them. So these okay. are individuals, ex athletes, current athletes. You know, uh, that have money, they have the desire to build a real estate legacy, but they don't have the time. Yeah, yeah. And so um, I provide a, ser- a concierge service to them that help them flip properties. So basically, I do all the work for them as, as it relates to identifying the property, handling the financing, because I own a hard money lending company as well. Yeah. Um, and then I uh, do the repairs. That's what's up. That's what's and up. And all they do is basically facilitate the debt and put it into their portfolio. Yeah. No, because yeah. what makes that, that sounds like a one stop shop from that standpoint. So, I urge everyone, if you've been on the sideline and you've set aside a goal or set aside funds with the goal being to get into real estate investment and you want to actually purchase homes, make them gorgeous and actually provide them back at a retail price, I want to make sure that everybody knows to reach out to you, Anthony, because Mm -hmm. there are so many quote unquote resources online that people can go to and think that they're learning how to do this in five minutes, 10 minutes, two days a week. But it's all virtual, and very rarely do they have the opportunity to actually sit down, break bread, yeah. and exchange information and ideas with somebody like yourself. So that's what I think is super invaluable. Well, I'll tell you Fate. another thing, too, is, the, yeah. is that when you get your hands dirty, you get your hands wet, you're going to learn for real. Yeah. Like, like she came in one of my seminars, and that's yeah, how yeah, we Yeah, I up. want y'all to tie that in. No, okay. well, I'm going to let no, no, Reed no, no, do no, it. No. Reed, okay. you tie yeah, that yeah, in. Because I got you a question it. first. Right. Yeah, okay. Reed, you tie that in. How, 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 yeah, tell us a little bit more no, no. about that, because no, I was going funny, to you with I, that. But before she gets to that, because I want to make sure that we don't gloss over what she mentioned as far as Airbnb, getting it organized from a business standpoint, because I think what I want to make sure we impress upon everyone is that when you're a real estate professional like yourself, you have to separate your real estate practice from your real estate investments. 
So talk about the importance of that first, because I want to make sure we give everybody a strong foundation of how they need to organize themselves. Right. So um, even though you're a realtor, you're still an independent um, you're an independent um, entrepreneur. Right. Mm -hmm. You're working for yourself. So um, even though I, I'm with a brokerage, I don't. I wanted to brand myself That's right. and my company. So in 2017, when I decided to do investments, that's exactly what I did. I started my company. You know, got it up and running where I can brand myself as an investor because that has nothing to do with my real estate license. Mm -hmm, that's right. So branding myself and um, start marketing myself and um, yeah, just putting myself forward, my business forward, instead of just saying like, oh, I'm with champions, you know, this is Ned holding the champion mm -hmm. sign. I, I basically want to be the face of my business and represent myself. That's, that's outstanding. So now, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're, before we get to that, hey, real quick, <laughs> shout out to my Facebook people. We appreciate y'all. Most definitely, we want y'all to always uh, go and uh, go to the Patreon page. It's important that we get some support from you all. Um, we have to cut our Facebook live short, right? And so what I mean by that is that we want you to go go to the YouTube, YouTube page, Prime Real Estate Network. Subscribe. Uh, feel free to visit our Patreon page. That's very important. It allows the platform to grow. It allows us to continue to put you in front of right, the right people, currently like the people we got in front of you. So we most definitely want you to go support prime real estate network on the youtube page so for our facebook live people we'll see you later uh, but for our guests y'all keep y'all's up and going we're going to keep this thing going and we're going to be excited so those of you that are going to miss the second half of this most definitely tune in but miss reed Yes. Now, <laughs> tie you guys in together for me. Like, I, I, I mean, because I, yeah, I know that I've watched your, your lives, and so I know that you also do some, dec you do your own decorating and I things do. like that. And so uh, before telling me more about the decorating, okay. talk to me about, like, how, how you guys, because y'all kind of share the same space a little bit, too, when it comes to the, the new homes or remodeling the homes as well, right? I'm in Sunnyside. I didn't know Sunnyside. <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> I heard. I'm on Sunnyside. Hey, Sunnyside, stand permission. up. Right, right, right. He's like, why are you not permission to come in my house? Checks up. Like, exactly. <laughs> Sunnyside watching right now. She all right. Don't, don't. She, yeah, she yeah, cool. Yeah, she I'm, cool. I'm, she cool. Yeah. She cool. <laughs> right, she my people. So how did y'all, yeah, so, tell, me, tell us about that, Reed. Okay, so prior to getting into it, that's, I, I mean, I was a real estate agent. I was doing all the, you know, real estate things, uh, mm -hmm. leasing and all that stuff. But it just felt like work. So, um. Oh, it is. It's a job. It is a job. <laughs> so when I left, when, when I got fired from my job, I thought I was going into, you know, my owning my own thing. But long story short, um, starting my investment career, I was, you know, researching people and a girlfriend of mine um, was just like, hey, I joined this real estate group and uh, this investment group. Mm -hmm. um, come check it out and all this stuff. Um, he, uh, he so happened to have a seminar. Um, to go to. So I went to the seminar and, um, you know, t talked to him. He was a great guy, great seminar. Who are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Damn, Ford. What, you been doing it like that? Yes. <laughs> it was an awesome seminar where I, I yeah. was just like, okay, sign me up. That's you know, up. and I went, you know, uh, went directly to him and was like, hey, um, I heard you were forming a team of, you know, realtors, investors. And, you know, he was about teaching. Yeah. So um, I was like, OK, I want to learn. And he was like, what's your experience? And I was like, I'm new. I don't know anything. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, OK, that's cool. He was like, you know, um, took me basically took I think it was five uh, uh, five seven oh, five to seven I can't remember no, but, seven. No, it but started seven. that way yeah seven. so no because what it, this is it's a, it's amazing because and you're doing a good job Thank there is you. no yeah. way yeah, you're killing it. there yeah. is no way that we could have planned this right to, for this to be this organic yeah. and I'm sure the audience is like wow these people are like this is one step from just being a happy hour yeah. <laughs> but it's, no I'm gonna tell you because the energy is so positive today that I'm sure the audience can tell that from a real estate and a success perspective you guys can champion each other yep. and build each other up because it's always great to have a, a support circle of like-minded people yeah. with right. with Sky high goals, yeah, with universal goals. So, what I want to talk about when we get back is both of you guys' lives before real estate and entrepreneurship, and who motivates and inspires both of you all 
who is the person that kind of fuels you to get out and be the go-getters that you guys have become. Okay. I want to thank everybody for tuning cool. in to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. We're going to take a short break to hear from our sponsors, and we'll be right back. This is Rick Davis, realtor and host of the Prime Real Estate Network. Are you currently leasing or looking to relocate to the Houston area and you find yourself falling in love with the home but aren't quite in a position to purchase? Well, no worries. We offer the Right to Purchase program. We can place you in the home of your dreams at current market rental rates and give you up to three years to buy. Did you know that a majority of the homes that are for sale offer better quality than those that are for rent? So why wait? Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Let me and my team help you purchase a home that you and your family can fall in love with. Give me a call today at 832-928-3963. And remember to follow the Prime Real Estate Network podcast on YouTube, Facebook, iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Be blessed. Welcome back to the Prime Real Estate Network Podcast. I'm your host, Rick Davis. If you don't follow me on social media, follow me at Prime Real Estate Rick. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Prime Real Estate Rick. And I urge you all to stop by our website at brooksanddavis.com. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in commercial or residential real estate anywhere in the great state of Texas. As always... My yes, co-host sir. is the Texas real estate king, Mr. Larry W. Brooks. No doubt, no What's doubt. What's going on, my brother? Hey, man, no complaints, man. Just excited. You know, real estate is booming. Um, with that being said, you know, it's an open house this weekend. So uh, most definitely want to, uh, for those of you that are going to be out and about this weekend in the Missouri City area from 2 to 4, uh, Brooks and Davis will be hosting an open house on Friday. I mean, I'm sorry, on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, feel free to text me for more details, uh, 281-924-4954. But it's going to be in the Missouri City area, open house, 2 to 4 p.m. Hey. Hey, man, I want to take some time to thank both of our guests. First guest is the CEO of Love Creative Investments, Ms. Love Reed, the queen of Airbnb. How you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. And I want to introduce our other guest, the president and founder of A45 Properties, Mr. Flip King, Anthony Ford. Thanks for having me, brother. Hey, I man. Appreciate y'all. First things first, bro. To represent the T-shirt, man. You, you've been out here. We've been on the show for 20 minutes. You ain't said nothing about the black and gold. I flip houses, T. Is that something that we got to know you personally again? Is that something that we can get online? That's exclusive merch. Is that something you give away at your seminar? <laughs> Is that exclusive seminar merch? What's going on, my bro? That's exclusive merch. We're gonna we getting ready to drop it. Uh, Joe's on here. He 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 and his wife. Uh, they do the styling, and I have a uh, put the pressure two other on. People. Them. Tell them we need uh, to dress out. Have a team, you know. Yeah, it friend, is. Friend Jocelyn, she, you know, so I have a couple people that uh just make sure that my shirts are uh, on point in terms of uh just being expressive. Like I like wearing. I like wearing shirts that, that have a message. Every now and again, I'll wear Nike, Adidas, you know, something like that. Um, but I like really portraying a message whenever someone sees me. And that's so, super cool. And I want to because you'll be surprised how powerful your message is. And um, Larry and I speak about this a lot, that sometimes we undervalue the our sphere of influence mm -hmm. and how we that's motivate right. and inspire the youth and people around us. So this question is for both of you all, and uh, Ms. Reed, feel free to answer first, but who can you credit as an inspiration and a motivator for you from an entrepreneur or investment standpoint? Um, I would have to say my mom, uh, definitely my mom. She, um, from Louisiana, but um, took her, th well, I was gonna say, we were born and raised in California. Um, I've seen her work her butt off to take care of us and to work you know, towards things that she needed and as a, doing that as a single mom. So, um, yes, definitely seeing my mom work and, you know, make sure we had things that we needed, even though we struggled. Um, she's a big inspiration to me because I'm not afraid to work. I'm not afraid to get up and, you know, do hard work. And get that thing going. That's right. right. I, I can yeah. second that, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> her being on my team, she she hard worker. That's why I, I really don't take newbies on, but her ambition, I was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I got you. Now, as, you. as far as with you, Anthony, who we like to give our roses out while we can, especially for those who have helped us out from a motivation, inspiration standpoint. Who can you credit as someone that saw something in you that you might not have saw in yourself that may have necessarily gave you a kick in the pants when you needed one? Or somebody who just opened the doors of opportunity for Anthony Ford? Um, wow. 
I don't really know how to answer that question because you said one. Uh, for me, I'm a multifaceted person, so I don't draw my inspiration from one person. Uh, my inspiration come comes from a lot of different sources, a lot of different people. Um, my dad was like my first uh, my first guy I looked up to, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I grabbed some things from him, his hard work, his tenacity. Uh, I don't like to lose. I don't. No <laughs> I don't lose. We can't curse, but I don't <laughs> yeah. lose ever. Like, I don't plan on losing. I'm going to find a way to win, even when it looked down. That's from my dad. Yeah. Uh, and then I've had people like uh, uh, other big brothers, you know, that have uh, showed me the way. Uh guy named Nick, Joe. Uh, uh, and then and then I draw inspiration from people that are doing way better than me. Um, so Jay-Z, you know, is one of my one of my guys that uh, I look up to. So I, I believe that, uh, you know, it's a lot of different – Different. Uh, I have a friend named Demetrius Early. Uh, another guy. He, he's like early. a big brother to me. Yeah, yeah, you know early. yeah, yeah. I know early. Yeah, yeah. 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 Met early years ago. The early. What's yeah, up, baby? The early man. Uh, yeah. So yeah. So we we were just kicking it yesterday. Uh, went to dinner and everything. Had it. You know. He just always coaching me up personally. Um, yeah. And um, business wise. So there's a couple of different. You know. But it stems from all over. Yeah. Uh, I'm the kind of person. I'm gonna take a la carte things. You know. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna go to the restaurant. and I'm gonna say, okay. I teach my kids the same thing. Okay, I want this chicken with that sauce and then yeah. that rice off of that dish. And they like, we don't have it on the menu, but you have it in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. So can right. you put that together for me? I'll pay a little extra. Well, I'm like that as it relates to you know to my career. Like I draw experiences from all kind of different people. I'm gonna yeah. draw experiences from you know from entrepreneurs, from people, from from philosophers, from spiritual people, from the streets, no from wherever. And then you you get who you. You, you know, have. it's funny. The cool thing about um, having someone on the show like yourself with as many with so many facets to where they draw inspiration from, if there was, and I know this may be tough, but if you could give one piece of advice to a young entrepreneur that's just getting started, that's watching all those shows on HGTV, that have, <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that, that have dreams of bag emojis <laughs> floating around in their head at night. We ain't letting you go off the HGTV yet. Yeah, give some yeah. game to the youth though, just a little bit, just a little nugget. It, nothing too deep because I know sometimes you can just blow someone's head up if you give them something with too many angles. But what do you think is the most important piece of information you could give out? Um, wow. To the younger folks out there trying to get into real estate. Yeah, just absolutely. That's want to change their life. I mean, just go for it. I mean, you never know. I mean, the first uh, I started I started jumping. I, I jumped in a real estate game back in 2003 um, and. The internet had just come out in 2000. Yeah. So we wasn't using the internet. Yeah. No and I flipped doubt. a house in 2003. And there was no such thing as getting hard money loans or anything Same like that. Right. And I had yeah. to, yeah. So the money I saved up um, from working a job, I know we're gonna, you're going to ask that question later, but from work, the only job I had, I only had one job my whole life. Well, I had a job as a college student, but one real job my whole life. And then I jumped in real estate and I've been in the game for and that's that whole a, time. That's super real because you've, had, you've built a lasting brand that has provided you professional longevity. Yeah. And that's something that in real estate, especially from an investment and a flip standpoint, everybody can't say that they've been able to establish. So I want to make sure I well, give you credit point. publicly for that because that's what makes that's what makes your story so powerful. Thank you. And for Ms. Reed, because see, this is why I want to make sure I get this question in because I know, like I said, we're running short on time. But as someone who came to one of Anthony's seminars, if you could give some advice to the person you were before you walked in that door that day. Ooh, hallelujah. If, if yeah. you could, right. <laughs> what advice would you give yourself or somebody who's thinking about going to their first seminar? And it's kind of like, I don't know, but I think I should. What would you tell yourself before you actually decided to go? That's a good question. Um, I would definitely advise, t- um, if you got the vibe of the person, because I'm, I'm before the seminar, I've been to many other seminars that didn't, you know, quite work out. But this semin- the, the seminar that I went to, he was talking about exactly what I wanted to do, the, uh, the field I wanted to, you know, be in. And so that resonated with me to say, okay, let me go ahead and talk to him. Because it wasn't just a seminar. He, he was, you know, accessible wow. after the <laughs> seminar. No, no, and that's what's so real. Because in, in, in other words, what you're saying him. is do it. Yeah. Right. Don't and, wait. No, and make it happen. Not only that, though, yes. I seen you go in. And so you actually listened because now you're doing it yourself. And you are doing your own decor. Now, I ain't seen Anthony yes. put together no decor yet. So tell me a little oh, bit more boy, about that along what? with your property. Wait, wait, yes. but before you get into the decor, <laughs> because see, the thing is, is because I want to build off that, okay. that the seminar thing. And when she's telling people to get involved and just do it, because you're mm-hmm. going to be making an appearance this weekend, Larry. 
that you're going to be making an appearance this Saturday. And I want to give you an opportunity to invite everybody out because you'll be so many people who's going to hear Ms. Reed's story. Look at you. Oh, you, oh, you don't even. Catch, you need to check his schedule. <laughs> 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 No, oh, I was just going to say, like, that's the thing real just real quick. So, like, when I do seminars, um, we all, the price is always meager. It's like fifty nine to no more than hundred hundred dollars the oh, first wow. day. Yeah. And then after that, you can go to the boot camp. If you put your money where your mouth is, I think it's we always start about four ninety nine. But if you want me to counsel you and show you for six months how to do the business, I charge eighteen thousand dollars a person. But I did a special and I said, you know what, I'm not even going to if you can work the business like she did and I'll do this for free you just pay for the boot camp which I think was like $500 at the time or something yeah. like that right yeah. so 499 I've had people to pay me $18,000 a person them and, their, and their, for their wife and I give them only $1,000 off so it's $35,000 a couple yeah and they still don't go out there and do what put the hell I tell yeah. them to do. Put in that work, She man. spent four ninety nine on a special, <laughs> <laughs> capitalize on that. Put that work in. And she that's worked my money. Yeah. So right. No, no, that's yeah. real, though. $500. Yeah. yeah. When she should have been charged $18,000. Right. And yeah. she's taking care of her bit. And it's crazy because people will pay that money because they think they can be me if they pay me. But I can only I can only give you the game. I can't make you. Yeah. Right. Right. And, then, and then she slid in the Sunnyside, too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's enough money for all of us, though. I'm not mad. I took her to Sunnyside. He took me to the auctions and. Um, actually, that's what, how I got interested in Sunnyside because, like, back then in 2017, the, the I'm putting people on, baby. Like yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah, I'm the plug. I'm, I'm just, I just don't say. I'm yeah. the plug. <laughs> I'm the plug. I'm the plug. I'm the plug. You know what I'm saying? That's why you sitting in that seat right there because I know you the man. No, you know what I mean? And I want you to tell you still ain't told me more about how you got into the decor and you ain't showed him how to put flowers around me. No, he ain't hanging around me. He has no, I don't know your decorative sense. Because that's really your thing. So, how did you fall in the did you pick that up through HGTV? What made you fall in love with that portion of it? Because when you do your properties, I noticed that's a part of your staging. Right. And and it's real important for an Airbnb as well for you to get great pictures and for you to, uh, right. you know, have for it to be luxury look, you know, um, sofa. You just offer everything. Mm -hmm. um, it's a hospitality business. So um, I already had that kind of experience in me. Um, I, I did my own home forever or I'll do friends homes or yeah. do little parties and stuff like that. But as I got into real estate, I was like, oh, I can add this to my business because I'm always, you know, yeah. um, selling homes. Investors called me to stage homes and That's stuff right. like that. So it just kind of my passion kind of just start making me money. Okay. It was my passion okay. first. Guru. That's yeah. right. No. Guru. <laughs> Guru. I'm telling you. No, first things first, I want to make sure everybody shares their IG handle. So, okay. Ms. Reed, please, so how can everybody follow you on Instagram, stay in contact with you, and interact with you after the show? Okay. My Instagram is love underscore creative deals. And the creative is with a K. And are you interested in assisting people when it comes to maybe them doing Airbnbs, getting into the the property market and stuff like that as well? Yes, um, since I'm more, I ha I'm on to my second one. Yes, I'm willing to help okay. and give people the structure that I had to get started in the business. Sounds good. Yes. And for you, Mr. Ford, how can everybody in the audience follow you, interact? On Instagram. Say that again. No, say that again, Ford. That, what you say? <laughs> say it a little each, louder. Each one, teach one. No doubt no about it. That's the platform. I saw her sweating the game. She putting somebody else in the know. Absolutely. And that's, mm -hmm. and that's really what we need to do, especially in the black community. Like, we yeah. think that, like, me giving her the game on Sunnyside, I didn't take no money out of my pocket. I mm -hmm. made her, you know, it's, we shared the wealth. It's yeah, no, it's not let's a go. Deal. Anyway, yeah. Instagram, Ford Hustle, at Ford Hustle, real simple. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook, Anthony Ford, there Ford Hustle, go. one of the two. Anthony Ford, Ford Hustle, I think it is. I don't be on social media like that, but, you know, yeah, yeah, I'll be on there when I. When well, I need follow to. me and Larry on IG because we're going to tag him in every picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then no you'll have his I already told him. All next week, you're going to see him. He's going to be all up and down my page. No doubt about it. And you need to tag me because I don't be doing a good job of, like, posting on social media and stuff like that. Sometimes I don't really care for it but uh just to kind of archive them no we're gonna blow you up you i'm telling you i know yeah. i know i know get that dm popping man yeah. get that nah, DM be popping already <laughs> no, like, no, nah, no. <laughs> need all that <laughs> mr brooke what you got shaking this weekend brother if everybody want to meet greet and interact with the yeah 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 so game. tonight if you're in the houston area tonight i'll be over at phil and Derek. there's gonna be a man okay. cave from seven to eight o'clock so i'll be at the man cave event from seven to eight o'clock it's being hosted by joyce johnson a great friend of mine she owns a network uh Y sales network there so the guys will be in there we'll have a man cave last last we did we did one about three months ago almost four months ago it was an amazing turnout amazing event cigars 
uh, some whiskey, just a great time at Phil and Derek. So feel free to come through that. Also, immediately after that, my guy that got me uh, in the self-publishing business, Darren, is actually having his book launch here in the Houston area at Phil and Derek's from 8 to 9 to 10. So most definitely come out, check my guy, come out, support. Uh, Phil and Derek is one of our, our Houston uh, restaurants that's amazing. Yes, sir. Shout Do out a great Sean job, Cruz man. Cruz. No doubt about it, mm-hmm. right? So is it we all know. Men? No, no, no. You come okay. on through, too. No, we're not invited as well. Okay. So, yes, yeah, not only okay. for men, come on out. Women are invited as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, y'all come be in the place, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I want to invite everyone to our open house at 3215 Chino Valley Court in Missouri City, Texas, both Saturday and Sunday this weekend from 2 to 4 p.m. I'll be there. Mr. Brooks will be there. We invite all real estate professionals, those in the industry that are looking to buy. And for those who are thinking about and need a pre-qualification and would like to have a buyer consultation, we can do that for you on the spot as well. So you're invited to that open house. On behalf of myself, Mr. Larry W. Brooks, the Texas Real Estate King, I want to thank our guests for being on the show this week. If you need anything, we're only a call to text or DM away. I want to thank you all for tuning into the Prime Real Estate Network podcast and we'll see you next Thursday. Be blessed. Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm LLC is marketing a property for sale right now that you can buy. These properties range from land lots for under $20,000 to move-in ready homes $500,000 and more along with everything in between. To see this week's list of properties for sale you can buy now, go to bit.ly backslash BDREF weekly list. That's B-I-T dot L-Y backslash BDREF weekly list. If you plan on selling some real estate and you need it on the weekly list, call 713-665-8329 to speak with someone about it.